Casualties of dogs. <gasps> it's a geocache! We just found a geocache! Overturf Butte in Bend. One of my favorite places to come walking when I'm visiting. It's got a dog park too. So Maverick, my buddy, my best buddy, can run off leash. So welcome. I'm just taking on a quick little, just a quick little walk around Oregon. A little something new. Check out this cool dog park though. Trails over there. You can come in. But this whole area is like woods for your dog. And there's Maverick behind the trees there. Boy, boy, too many smells, huh? You're like, I don't want to pay any attention to what you're doing. Ah, oh, board. We love the boards. <laughs> don't pollute. Please pick up the poop. <laughs> and then here's all the off-leash areas for dogs in Bend, Oregon. And you can see this, we're here, and then there's all these trails that go up. This is one of the best sunset watching spots. Oh, wow, it's nice to tell you what to do if there's a dog fight, want to pay attention. Oh boy! Let's go around the corner. What do we got? Hi! Hi! You coming to say hi? Everybody's gonna love you. Hi! You feeling better? You feeling better? Oh, you just want that big, you want my windsock. That's what you want. That's what you want. Okay, so dog safety. We've got this. Is, this is like the bulletin board part. I'm coming. We're still where we came from. Is like way past over the trees. I don't think you can see the thing, the little book, <laughs> and then it's it's walled off. So you're fine to let your dog run around, and completely gated. yes, completely gated. Dogs cannot get out. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I saw the little map. I was telling Sean we should go through. He's he's been to most of them. I'm like, oh, there's a couple we haven't been to. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, most of them are not completely closed off. Or there's a lot of other activities going on that don't okay. relate to dogs. And Got a bench. Always love a good bench. So where does the bench look out at? Ah, oh, look at that. Take a look at the bench. There's another entrance into the dog park. Yeah, when we first lived here, there was no houses anywhere. My friend Sean and I were talking about how the fact that when we first lived here, uh, this place here was no houses, and um, they used to have like this festival in Bend in the summertime. And I got a good story about that with my pink hair back in the day when nobody had pink hair but somebody asked me on a live and we'll talk about that I mean I'm sure it's at least a couple acres and we're going around there's boy boy so there is the board area we came from that way and going off around I mean it's just a dog bark Really, but after we leave the dog park, we're going on the trail. And the trail has a swing and a bench to watch the sunset. Although it's the first thing in the day, so there's no sunset. Oh, look at that thing. What's that? Ooh, that's a big lane two teepee thing. I'm gonna check that out. I climbed inside one at uh, Prescott. Ah. Someone was messing with it. 
Boy, boy! You thirsty? Are you thirsty? I'm gonna go for a hike. I get up some water. You're smarter than myself. I didn't bring a bottle of water as usual. Somehow I seem to always forget the water. You can see the bulletin board is right there. We left and there's a trail that comes up next to these water containers. I don't I think that's water. Like water reserves or something. And then right to the left of it is the trail. There's also a trail that goes down this way. But we're going to come up this way. Now Bend, Oregon is a really interesting. It used to be a tiny, tiny little town when I lived here. And then now it's just a giant city. Well, maybe not as big as Portland or things of that nature, but it is a really rather large city. And one thing I love about Oregon is trees. I love the cold and the snow too, which I know seems a little odd because I live in Death Valley or right outside of Death Valley. Right, we gotta find Maverick. There's tons of mountain biking, tons of mountain biking. So when on trails in Oregon, at least in Bend, you always gotta pay attention for bikes coming. They try to pay attention for you also. So we got a loop, and you go up, and we got graffiti. But at least they contained it to the utilities box. Okay, you come up and you come up the path to a swing. You guys, it's a swing. This is my favorite place to stop on this trail. And it's a memorial swing for Harlan Joy, 2016. This world needs you. Don't give up. You are loved. You matter. What a beautiful swing. Let's sit on the swing and see what we got. Look at that view. Hey, Sean, what, what mountain is in front of me? Whoa. So I fall off the swing. Oh, Pilot Butte is right in front of us. And to the left is Aubrey Butte. And then there's a little log bench you can sit on. It's nice and quiet. There's not too many bikers or dog people here yet because we're a little early, we're not super early. I used to dog sit Maverick a whole heck of a lot. He's a pretty good dog. Well, let's go up over here. And um, there's a bench up here. And then the trail goes further from where the bench is, right? Trail goes to the left and ends, and then we could go to the right and uh, go down the back of it. See, we could walk in. We just came up from around the corner there 
and then there's options you can go to the left or you could go to the right you can go with this so you could go with that we're going with that because that's where the bench is at oh i see it See it up ahead. Uh, let's check out the. This is a probably not the a, the most ADA friendly bench I've ever been on, but it, it works. Ah. There's Mount Bachelor. Oh yeah, there's Mount Bachelor. Fires. Let me see if I can zoom in on the three sisters. Hey. Is it like to document the graffiti that happens in the world? We got some rock graffiti here. I love Angel. I kind of feel like I should have an S on the end and then it would be cover for a lot of people that they love angels. I have no idea what that, that one says. I haven't seen too much uh, inappropriate graffiti like I like to call it. Cause I, you know, I, I like graffiti, but I like it in the appropriate places. Ooh, that's a view. Hold on a second here. Let's, uh, let's get behind and be like, hey, look at that. That is Pilot Butte. This is Jenny. Something, but we've got some graffiti. Hoey Ray. And a heart. Pick up your trash. That's 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 a good graffiti. Pick up your trash. These are stickers. Sticker graffiti is kind of turning into a thing, I've noticed. And it's probably been a thing for way longer, but you know. Oh, look at that little guy. <laughs> oh, there's some kind of weird and hearts. Gotta love hearts. And you see, there's like a cliff. Taking a different route down. Definitely dog friendly, definitely not ADA friendly unless you stay on the paved path. There's just too many rocks and ups and downs for people with potentially balance issues. But now this little trail here we're getting on, we went to get to the bench, that's where we stopped and there was a, you can go with this or you can go with that. And then we went to that and then now, oh, there goes the Maverick just outed the quails or whatever birds those were. And uh, this trail seems to be like a nice little dirt trail. This, this will work for, this will work for ADA. And the houses, they did, good, they did a pretty good job of keeping the houses kind of out of your sight, which is nice. And now we're gonna go to the left to go back. So one lovely thing about Bend is there's so many places that are really close to the whole basic downtown of Bend that it took probably seven minutes to get here from the downtown where we're staying. you come out this way so uh sean and i were just w talking and walking and all of a sudden i saw this tackle box and it's a geocache and i am not really supposed to show geocaches from what i understand so i'm gonna have to edit out it might skip from whatever i was talking about to me saying oh my gosh we found a geocache <laughs> which we totally just did and it's a prize geocache the only problem is, is there's no pens in there so next time sean comes back up i'm gonna make him bring some pens and throw it in the geocache because you have to be able to sign the book when you get here right right okay let's keep going 
now we're on a paved road it just got paved and if you just look up straight ahead we have just made a giant loop because we're going to be back to the dog park where we started but no we're going off trail because this is the mountain bike trail <laughs> just kidding we are going off trail <laughs> that's for the regular people And full circle where we came from and where we're going. And you just park in the neighborhood right here to if you continue forward on this paved trail right here, where does it go forward? You go forward for a few miles, it turns to dirt, and then it turns into single track and you're in the Phil's hub trail area. What's the Phil's Hub trail area? Phil McGlashan was one of the first mountain bike trail builders here in 1980. So it's a mountain bike trail? Yes. It's for mountain biking? Yeah. Yes. A whole okay. network. All right. Let's go get coffee. Sounds good. The last known blockbuster in America is in Bend, Oregon. Yep, folks. This is one of the things that you can come and visit. You can buy blockbuster memorabilia. You can get a blockbuster account and rent DVDs if you have a place to play them. Yes, blockbuster exists in Bend. Things I'm just so grateful for right now. I had a most amazing concert experience. I have been dancing for four hours. I got a fist pump and I see you. I got a shout out from a full girl. Black lips and everything, full like, but respect. And oh, I got to run through the crowd with the crescendo of DJ Z trip, like on this like epic beginning of his set. And I just like put my hands out like a, an eagle and just ran up the hill like a kid. I read something today that said, act like a kid. And I did, and that's really good. I have no idea if you can hear me. Be grateful, make good choices on your own adventures. And I'll catch you at the DJ Z Trip concert.